we are back today and we are data logging a four story building. And the reason we're doing that is because there's been a dispute over the sort of service charge, the general electricity charge of the building. We're going to be logging the data with these Pell 104s, which is essentially going to give you, yeah, your, your power factor. So we're gonna use this way. Um, but strangely enough, there is a there's another one in here. There's a, there's a tail in here, but stop doing anything obviously because the fuse is out. So we're gonna we're gonna remove that, and we're just gonna tape it, tape it up out of the way. Neutrals are going to be a bit tricky to, to do unless I can get them in the, in the bar.
like I said before, these actually have a power adapter where they can power off of the incoming voltage. It's gonna pick up the three phases of neutral or single phase of neutral from here. And then we can pop the figure of eight lead in there. And that is basically a pass-through adapter. Right, now, we wanna do our Rogowski coils. So these, like any CT, have a direction of current flow. So it's really important to make sure that this little arrow on here is facing the right direction. We're going to start with landlord's board one. I'm going to undo this velcro strong. And we're going to go with the direction of current flow. In just for lack, just to ease confusion, really. Um, there we go, it's not plugged in. L1 for the mechanical board. Make sure the ammo is going the right way. So it's important throughout this process as well that I'm just keeping the phases configured correctly with the right wire, the right colours and the right phases. Um, again, we just want to make sure that arrow is flowing in the same direction as the, the current, basically. I'm just using a pair of long nose to get me around these tight spaces. Cool, there's another one. We'll get this plugged into our Landlord's L2 blocker. And then the next one is the, the L2 of the mechanical DB. There we go. Going in the correct direction. Ah, finally, mechanical L3. Correct direction. Locked in. Lovely. So I've double checked all my Rogowski coils are all facing the right way, they're all on. I've double checked all of my crop clip connections, nice and secure, not moving about, not under any pressure or anything. So now it's time to pop the fuses in. So you're just going to do these one by one, starting with L1. All right, we've got two pels on, which is a good start. single phase they still need to be in L1 okay and then we need to get the third and final power on I'm popping this one in there and that's lit up great news so that means we can get get this all shut up these leads tucked in here these leads tucked in there okay Okay. 
Right, so it turns out um, that that three, phase, the three single phase boards are actually one three phase board, so I only need two pels. Um, Ryan, the guy I'm working with, just found a three phase board and it turns out that three phase board feeds the single phase boards. So it was a bit of a mystery. Um, a bit of context is this building's been handed over with no certification, no labelling, nothing. So it's all a little bit up in the air and they're also querying obviously the, the service charge for the electricity. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconfigure the leads I put in for the three separate pels into one pel. I don't need to get geared up or anything anymore. I just need to yeah reconfigure those. Um, so instead of having three pels for one board, we've got one pel for one board, if that makes sense. So it's five o'clock. These have just started recording because I set them for five o'clock, so that's good. Uh, I've locked this off just because I don't want anyone, I've got the covers off inside, so I don't want anyone yeah, getting involved with that and also messing with the loggers. So yeah, that's all, that's all locked. And then yeah, we've got two loggers instead of four. So this is doing what I thought was the three single phase boards. It's just doing the one three phase board. I said it turns out the single phase boards were fed off of the three phase board and we only discovered that late in the day. So I just, the leads I'd done were fine. I just reconfigured it onto one tester, onto one logger, sorry. And then this is the mechanical DB. So yeah, they're all, they're all up and running. We've got our current there. Got our single phase voltage, phase voltage, power factor, which is horrendous. I'll get back to that in a bit. Um, yeah, the angle, and then yeah, back to current. We've also got our power consumption, so 1.7 kilowatts. There's other data there as well. Got phase balancing, the min and maximum. I don't know if I've configured this correctly or if it just needs like you know longer than five minutes worth of data to tell you the mins and the maximums. Um, we've got info there and then we've got the lock too um, but yeah this is the one for the mechanical board and what's crazy is this has got a power factor of 0.96 now that's actually raised a bit um, it was 0.90 and 0.90 isn't particularly great to be honest with you but that's to be expected because this does a mechanical board and I'll show you I'll show you in a little bit why this uh, you'd expect it to be around that this one just does lights and power um, and a couple of EV chargers and there is some solar connected into it which explains the abnormally high voltage uh, not abnormally high but you know we've got we've got 244 we've got higher phase voltages and stuff so that's probably the solar but the power factor is 0 0.55 which is horrendous that is terrible that is you know for every kva 4.8 kva um, only 2.6 kilowatts is actual useful power. So for every unit of electricity that they're purchasing, only half of it is useful. So to power something, you've basically got to pay twice the amount of electricity. It's also gonna have effects on like the service equipment. So you're gonna have to pull more power. Um, things are gonna be running a little bit hot. There's all sorts of issues, but just from a bottom line perspective, everything is basically twice as expensive, which is insane. What we're gonna do is we're gonna log um, for a week, and then I'm actually gonna go through the data with Sharvin because they're a little bit more <laughs> smarter than me. Um, but yeah, initially we've like quadruple checked my lead configurations because normally that's like wrong CT configurations or wrong voltage or it's all on the same phase or something weird like that. But we've like checked and checked and checked again and everything's sweet. So it is just that bad. And the one next to it, which is off of the same phases, just off of a different fuse is reading correctly. So I've done it right, but that is just so bad. I mean, look now, it's just dropped down to 0.33, which is so bad so bad um yeah crazy let's um let's show you guys the mechanical room um and show you why you'd expect that power factor to be around 0.9 um yeah we'll, we'll go there now so this is the plant area so this is that mech db and you can see here we've got mechanical uh, mechanical control panel which is basically a motor control center we've got water, cold water boosts and stuff a few circuits but what all of this is basically is motors and motors are yeah uh, generally inductive loads and they also require a certain amount of reactive power for the magnetism to spin the motor so you can't completely 
get rid of, you can't have a perfect power factor when you've got stuff like motors and, 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 and things like that, inductive loads, because they rely on the reactive energy to actually work. Uh, but we've got three here. And if we go through into this area, we've got a motor control center. Um, and yeah, just more motors, motor, 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 motor. Pump, but motor, motor, motor. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, basically all of these are just gonna rely on reactive power. They're gonna, it's a necessity of it. So yeah, you can't completely negate it. And this is why I expected that one to be bad, the mechanical board to be bad, to be around 0.8, 0.9, something like that. But um, yeah, it's sitting between 0.9 and 0.95, which is okay, to be honest with you, considering all this. But the other one is, is really, really, really bad. Right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Yeah, the power loggers are running, they are logging. We're gonna leave them for a week and we're gonna come back together we'll collect them and we'll run through the data together and create reports so that we can let the client know exactly what's going on in terms of yeah the electricity that they're charging the tenants and obviously the power factor issues as well see if we can find out anything more on that because that is horrendous they obviously can't leave that if it is what we think it is they can't leave it like that so we're gonna have to gonna have to sort that out again apologies for the lack of content I've got loads of stuff coming up and I'm gonna be as consistent as I can be I can't always film stuff and do need to prioritize actually doing the work but I've got loads of cool stuff coming up um, and I'll see you guys in about a week's time anyway to get to the bottom of this as always thanks for watching check out the codes and the links below it really supports me the business and the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one